Okay, welcome back everybody. Um, I've already partially got this laptop apart, but um, I, since I'm going through this whole trouble, I thought I might as well explain what I'm doing and why we're, uh, we're tearing this guy down. This is an HP 15, uh, it's HP 15 F233WM. It's sporting a Celeron processor, so dual core Celeron, 15.6 inch diagonal HD, so 1366 by seven something. Four gigs of uh, system memory, uh, 500 gig hard drive. Okay, these are the new thin type laptops, right? You see how thin this thing is? It's brand new. It's only been uh, it's only been a month since the customer bought this thing. Okay, so it's not like it's an old old laptop. Uh, it does have a DVD drive, which I've already taken out. So it's very cool that uh, such a thin little laptop has a DVD drive. It's actually right there, and you can see the bay here. Uh, but it has a combo. You see, it doesn't have a separate microphone headphone. It's a combo unit. It's only got one USB in the right side and it's a USB 2.0 I believe and then we got two USB on the I'm sorry one on the right side two on the left side and we've got an HDMI out and um, I believe I take it back I, I don't know if it's gonna show up in the video but uh, it does say SS so these are super speed USB 3 drive uh, USB ports I'm sorry about that now how did this break it's so thin that any kind of vibration or hit to the hard drive will screw up the hard drive basically meaning you've uh, damaged the drive if it's dropped or if it's hit in a certain angle and so this laptop is really a pain in the butt to fix because you know for whatever reason there's no access door to the hard drive so the entire laptop has to come apart and if you can see here they have not soldered a second um, uh, slot for any additional memory so this laptop can only take four gigs or eight gigs max and I've already taken apart that and I've gotten the I've gotten this apart taken out the keyboard and so this laptop the level of suckiness is pretty high because there's no fan so this laptop is using passive cooling just like a passive uh, a, a heat sink like a piece of metal and that's what's cooling this laptop down the hard drive is presumably right here or underneath the motherboard and what we're going to do is we're going to install this new SSD. So a 120 gig SSD and it's going to save the laptop basically meaning uh, he bought this for his kid and he didn't realize that you know it would be so easy to damage. So we're going to put in the SSD. I'm going to go ahead and put that in um, and then I'm going to reboot it and we'll show uh, you the differences between the... Well, I guess we can't really show you the difference between the old hard drive because it's already dead. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll spin it up and... Uh, show how nicely it runs with an SSD uh, Just in case you want to see what uh, I meant by saying like uh, there's no There's no heat sink. This is a Toshiba and it's also sporting a Celeron and this hard drive is also dead And I've already gotten this apart and now here this computer doesn't have a Heat that doesn't have a fan. This is where the hard drive was battery motherboard and look at this This is the CPU that they cut a piece of aluminum to actually pull out heat so it's using passive cooling and I, I think that they're doing something very similar on this HP um, when I get it apart uh, we'll see okay so I got the the cover off now um, it looks like the build quality isn't as terrible as I thought there's a sheet of metal on the bottom and there is no fan as you can see so it's being passively cooled so this is a very very weak uh, Celeron uh, but here's the hard drive and as you can see there's nothing protecting this hard drive and so uh, it, any kind of like vibration and stuff like that. And I'll take this one. It hits the hard drive Physically hits the hard drive the handle uh, jumps off the plate or the motor is broken or there's a short and then your hard drive is pretty much dead. So uh, They're very cheap for a reason But basically as you can see there's no there's only this little rubber kind of like a spacer here that's going to uh, add, that's supposed to be quote unquote like help it with, uh, absorb vibration, but obviously it doesn't. And it, it's it's really hard to get out, but um, let me get this removed and then we're going to put in the new SSD and do the repair or upgrade and it should uh, set the customer, uh, set them up for a better experience uh, just because everything will boot up faster, but also for longevity. And it will help out with battery life too, so. But I just wanted to see like a, and this one is not, it's not too particularly bad because it's this is very thin and they're reinforcing it with metal. So it's not the cheapest laptop out there, um, but there are some that are way worse than this. It's just two sheets of plastic 
in screws and grommets. I mean, in, uh, in standoffs here. But this is a uh, this is what it looks like inside a really cheap laptop these days. Well, we finally got it back together. So impressions, it's the Celeron in this particular laptop is really really slow. Uh, it's actually a base speed of 1.6 gigahertz and then turbos to 2.15 if it needs to. And even when it turbos, it's pretty dang, dang slow. So uh, the SSD does definitely help out a bit with it. But wow, I mean, I don't think that uh, this is something that you'd use for any kind of like work. Maybe basic word processing, uh, things like that. And in terms of uh, playing uh, media, uh, YouTube, it does play YouTube at 720p. Uh, P. Uh, pretty decently, no stuttering or anything like that. Uh, at 1080, it does play, but there's it's kind of a moot point because it's only a 1366 by 7, uh, 720 screen anyway. So, um, in terms of battery life, it it seems to be fairly decent, uh, especially since this doesn't have a fan in there and it's running an SSD now. So the, the I think this might be even like just a three cell battery. It might last a lot longer than normal, but. It's one way to upgrade one of these really cheap laptops, you know, and now you don't have to worry about, you know, the customer doesn't have to worry about it getting damaged by vibration or, you know, it being dropped or whatever now. And so it is usable again. Uh, it's quite a, you know, it's the 120 gig update, I mean, I'm sorry, a 120 gig SSD uh, upgrade is probably the best way to go on these little, little cheap budget laptops, you know, and you won't be saving much thing, uh, much on their hard drive and it makes it usable and it makes the battery life last a lot longer but yeah just a quick uh video uh repair on this hp 15 the feature rich budget friendly yeah <laughs> the hp 15 f233 wm and this is an update uh, an upgrade you guys can do on any of these budget laptops it's assuming you have the uh, uh the skill to do it any questions or comments, please post them at the bottom of the video. Thanks for watching, everybody.